We still build the majority of our buildings and houses out of wood. People don't like seeing a clear cut on a hillside, but at the same time, it's the most renewable resource we have. I'm Robert Marr. I'm an area engineer with Green Diamond Resource Company based out of Shelton, Washington. When you're extracting a resource from the environment, there's always a right way and a wrong way to do that. It's about finding the way to have the least amount of impact on the environment. Standing in the middle of this third growth forest, the next generation will be able to harvest on this exact same site. When these trees are logged, it'll be the third time it's been logged. You can see your first generation old growth stumps out here. We got 12 guys out here. They plant about anywhere from 1,000 to 1,300 a man. That's a lot. 1.4 million trees this season. Most of the people that you work with out here, they're outdoorsmen. There's no better office in the world. Our buffers for our streams are designed to provide both terrestrial wildlife habitat and corridors between different ages and stands of timber, but also protect the streams that fish and amphibians and reptiles live in. The Wainuchi River Valley was formed by glaciers carving it out based on the overall lithology of the area. We have certain areas of occupied habitat that we do not harvest. Every year, our biology staff does monitoring basically to determine if our riparian strategies are functioning the way we originally intended. In the late 1800s, early 1900s, the founder of the company, Saul Simpson, actually purchased a lot of cutover land, pretty much no value to anyone else, but he saw the long-term potential of letting the trees grow back. We've been around for now 130 years. This area is one of the greatest timber growing regions in the world. We're on the southern end of the Olympic Peninsula. There are days when it's just, you know, 36 degrees, pouring down rain. By the end of the day, it's nice to just get back to the truck and then crank the heat. <laughs> Everybody you work with out here cares. I mean, loggers, reforestation, the road engineers, the road construction. It's nice to work with people that actually care about what they do and believe in what they do.